So here are four of these relays. So let me try getting this out. Be away that this box out instantly. Yes, here I get it. Oops. This is the entire circuit. So this is the entire circuit. These are the battery terminals which are connected here. So this is the back side of the board. So here you are having screws. These screws are actually attached are used to attach these uh, heat sinks. And here there are four ICs, four MOSFETs, I guess. So as you can see there are four MOSFETs connected here and a large heat sink. These heat sinks are unlike our uh, regular heat sinks that we use. So these are having a lot of mass. So they are not hollow, they are solid. So whatever heat comes out from these ICs are absorbed by this heat sink and not left into the environment. They are not left into the environment which a regular heat sink would do, which a normal heat sink that we use daily would do. There is a switch, buzzer, this is an LED. Here is the heart of the circuit, that is the microprocessor, I guess, or a microcontroller. I couldn't read anything here, it is written as 100137-020. So I think I should ask Google what it is. It's a dual inline package without a base. So I wish they had IC bases, they have installed IC bases so that whatever happens to the IC we could replace it. And the soldering is pretty much perfect. As you can see, all the uh, speaking of these four relays, one of them is connected to the output, one of them is connected to the transformer, and the other is also connected to a battery to switch it on and off, the transformer or the inverter to turn on or off the inverter this one is for the output so why is this connected to the output I don't know and what about this one the fourth one I don't have any idea of it I wish I knew it and here is the switch which is a push button and here is an LED green here is a buzzer that's it here is another IC that you can see. So it is written as AUTCOFTM UC3843AL. So I should take help of Google. If you know anything about these ICs, please do comment in the comment section.